Sustainability. Okay, here at the Fairchild Farm, the way we're growing our mangoes, we're trying to optimize our resources in order to grow the best quality fruit that we can. Now, specifically what I'm talking about here is our mango trees, because what we found in our um, experience is mango trees are very sensitive to chemical inputs. They're very sensitive to um, chemical fertilizers, herbicides, anything, any applied chemicals can be a great detriment to our overall quality and production of our mango trees and our health of our mango trees. So, what we have here is we have Biden's Alba, which is the um, um, Spanish nettle that we allow to grow up under our trees. The nice thing is this is its ultimate height of, of these Bidens. They get this tall during the rainy season, and then as soon as the dry season comes, they'll die back, reseeding, and they come back in. And by letting the Bidens grow here, we allow, they choke out the competition from all the other weeds. Okay, so the only thing we have to do in here is we have to go through by hand and remove cane grass or a very few very aggressive weeds that grow here. What allows us for is all of these Bidens here, you see the flower of this plant, um, this, uh, this gives us a nectar source for our honeybees, all right? It also gives us a nectar source for all of our predators, all of our native bees, all of our lace wings, our ladybugs, everything that helps control all of the pests and diseases that attack our mango trees. So even though it looks a little unorganized, it looks like we just aren't taking care of this property. Instead, it's quite to the contrary. What we have is a very healthy system. We have a system that's alive. We have predators. We have nectar sources. We have control here. We do not have to herbicide. Um, I also do this because the competition, I don't consider this to be a competition with my mango tree. I like the, these weeds to pull the nitrogen out of the system because mango trees are very sensitive to excess nitrogen. So they, they do so many things for us. The other thing that they do, which is a bit of a trick, and uh, being a beekeeper, I don't like to always do this, but we use the, the bees use the Bidens as their food source. And then right before bloom time, right, right as the bloom begins in our mangoes, because bees don't really like mango trees, we come in with a weed eater and we cut all these Bidens down. We remove their food source from here. So then the bees have no choice but to go up to your mango tree and feed on the mango blooms. They don't really like mango blooms, so they only stay for a few days. But if you time it perfectly, you can get a good pollination effect of your bees by doing that. So it's a, it's a way we are managing our field, and it's a, it's a very sustainable method. It saves us money on herbicide. It does take us uh, hand labor and uh, like a weed eater, things like that. But it's a very sustainable option for small farms for, and for people in their home in order to grow a mango tree because this is, in our experience, this allows us to grow such good quality. It, it has changed the entire way we look at mangoes um, here at Fairchild.